data localization is a kind of second generation of internet border control. First generation of internet border control is when we stop information from coming into our country. And this is classic censorship. We don't want these foreign influences in this country, we will stop them at the border. The second generation of internet border control is let's stop information from flowing out of our country. Maybe we think that information is valuable and we want to keep its value in this country. Uh, maybe we think that this is a way to stop foreign suppliers from providing their services to us. Third, maybe we think it's because it allows local government to enforce its will more readily. But I think the problem here is that it's easy to use legitimate rationale you know, we're trying to protect the privacy of our citizens in a way that hides a protectionist rationale. We're trying to prevent a foreign supplier uh, being able to supply our markets. And that protectionism is exactly the kind of thing that international trade law focuses on. The international trade law folks believe that you can protect privacy as, as data flows across borders. That data is not safe simply because it stays within borders. So I think data localization is problematic in a variety of ways. I think it's important to have kind of international trade rules that grapple with it, because otherwise the world is going to start erecting all these borders in cyberspace, preventing the internet from functioning in the way it was normally supposed to function, which is to allow for a global communications.